Okay, without further ado, we've got 10 laps. Let's jump straight in and cut the waffle down. So we're in uh, Xela's TCRs, touring cars. Now we're in the Renault. And we're at Long Beach, 10 laps. AI at 110. Chicken for me dinner. It's 1978. No. Sorry, turning to Gene Hunt for a moment there. I was about to have hoops for me tea. Okay, so we are on the joys of front wheel drive on a bumpy track. Ugh. So it's a touring car, she's supposed to do that. Although damage is turned on, so it's not a good idea. Honda up in front, sporting his blue flames out the exhaust. That would probably have been a better selection for me. It's a bit more tight around the corners than this thing. Just dispatch the opal. taking chunks out of me and the wall wonderful coming across we haven't got gym turned on because well restraining orders and things just got the power on a little bit quicker than he did as usual the TCRs are always close racing so we're uh, I'm ending each sentence like a statement and I should do it. Stop doing it. Whoop. Not to sound like Gen X. <sighs> Controversy. My pronouns are ooh ah and ooh. Just for this race you understand. Now if that doesn't get a couple of dislikes off some random watching this, I don't know what won't. It's up the inside of it. Yeah, it's all the shadow. Who needs a spotter? Bit of low sun, golden hour. Seen coming from a mile away. Uh, Rebel limits are cutting in there over the bumps. So we've got a lot less power than the cars we've been driving of late. But it just means you've got to be a, you've got a little bit more uh, to play on the old steering and the feedback like that. Oh come on. I was in front, honestly. <laughs> yeah, stupid place to stick your car in, you knew what was gonna happen. AI is being too human, not jumping out of the way. Ah, I've done it again. So easy to lock the front end up. Over the bumps in these front wheel drive cars and that's it, you are a passenger. Come on. Yep, I knew there was somebody there rattling me. <laughs> God. Giving him room, losing wing mirrors. Let's get a bit dark down the back here. Excuse the crunchy noises, just moving the headset. Drift going into that. Front wheel scrabbling for grip there coming out of that one. So 
So we have not yet got 1.6 upon us, but uh, the murmurings are getting louder from those who have got access in the old race club. Um, and it's all standing positive. You've got kind of the usual overhype with the thing, um, which you always get. Oh, it's going to be a completely different game, and uh, yes, it's going to destroy everything else on PC. It's like uh, I think you're overhyping things, but then you've got the you've got the people who've actually got access going. Um, can't really disagree. <laughs> it's like oh geez. Got a massive queue of cars behind me. I'm gonna to have to go wide here. Another one alongside. No, nope, pulling away. So yeah, 1.6 is um, it's building the hype up, but it always does, and it always seems to live up to the hype, uh, which is quite astonishing given the uh, the amount of hype and what people are saying about various aspects kind of thing, nah, can't be that good, come on. The, uh, the old modders who were uh, holding back stuff for the release of 1.6 who, did, who then kind of went, oh, it's taking too long, right, put this stuff out, and we got things like this, and uh, a flurry of mods have now started to uh, stockpile stuff again, waiting for 1.6. So we're either, if 1.6 is either going to land or we're going to get another flurry of mods when the modders kind of go, mm, this is getting silly. Uh, there's some nice stuff. I can't obviously tell you what there is. It's still being worked on, um, but there is. I assure, I assure you, there's some absolutely wonderful mods being worked on uh, for some uh, amazing series from all of them, really. All of the big mods, modders. Uh, we've got, we've got uh, XTC. We've got. Zealer. We've got Fred, of course, uh, GSVE, over at uh, PMCT. Uh, they've all got stuff queued, and they're all a bit epic, to say the least. Of course, we've got 1.6 itself, which is uh, the rumor mill is telling us it's a bit epic as well. Lots of uh, areas where it's gonna be a bit of a game changer from uh, tires to physics to online to, uh, to making cups of tea in the morning. It's all there. This race seems to be happening behind me, people. Sorry if it looks a bit... Oh, there we go. I missed my braking point. Yeah. The race is back on. What are we on? Lap 6. Perfect. Let's talk about... Graphics in VR. So, AMS2 is widely accepted to be the, uh, the sim with the best VR optimization out of all of them. Um, so I'm running kind of medium and high settings. I'm running at 80 frames a second in a Rift S. So that's like whatever resolution that is per eye. 1080p per eye, something like that. Oh, tires are getting a bit warm. Um, 
and I'm doing all of that. Sorry, got interrupted by a bit of a slide. So I'm running all that on a 1080 Ti, which yes is a beast of a card, but it's a very old beast of a card. We're on 40 series now, you know. It's, uh, gives you a, an idea of how well optimized this game is. I'm of course uh, recording this on the same PC while running all of this at native resolution for the Rift S, which is crazy. I have even run it on a Quest 2 on the 1080 Ti. No problems at all. If you're trying to run VR, some of the things to watch, some of the big hitters, would be the, uh, what would it be? Detail grass, that's the that's the big one. Turn the grass off. Who needs grass anyway, look? Show me where the grass is. You're going to go, oh, this roundabout up here. Ah, well, that's not grass, is it? That's fauna and flora, look. That's the... It's the silly grass that blows around and all the rest of it. It's a killer in VR. And some of the, uh, your MSA and anti-aliasing stuff, put it on medium. Oh, this is bad. Get the clutch, get it going again. Going backwards at this point. What happens when I talk? Can't multitask. Shut up, Owen, and overtake him. Right, I'm just going to be quiet, just for a lap. What are we on? Lap eight. Okay. You've been tormented enough. I'll give you a, a lap of solitude once I get round to the start finish straight. While I catch up with these guys. Speak to you. In a lap, people. I'm back, we caught him a little bit. Hoo-hoo, so, coming up on the last lap now. So I will talk through what I'm doing. Just for any of you who've not been got this uh, track. Okay, braking here at the end of those chevrons on the pit exit, all the way down to second. Big bite of kerb. Breaking again, down to first, round the roundabout. Run it wide, just to keep the grip going. Down, keep it in second, don't take too much of that. Unsettles the car, that was for demonstration purposes only. Still in second, all the way out to the wall. Just balancing the uh, understeer with the throttle. Breaking at the 800, down to second. Nice and tight, get 
it's quite bumpy again wide line braking at 300 down to second turning in getting whacked by the uh, Renault behind me he's now got his lights on I think we've all got our lights on haven't we yeah okay second gear there leaving it in second just rolling round here and the dab of the brakes into first gone wide he's looking up the inside it's a drag race to the end got you covered and that's a lap of Long Beach thanks for watching I'm gonna go lie down because I've got an earache that could it's like somebody's I don't know, shot me with an arrow. Slightly deaf in the right ear. Right, enough of my medical complaints. Adios.